Hey people, let's talk about dysfunctional families. You know, like a narcissistic culture family. A family where people are just toxic, dysfunctional, negative, low vibration. It's just lies, secrets. It's just a whole mess. You know, if you, you don't want to actually even listen to the gossip, if if someone comes to you with gossip from a narcissistic family, just say no, it's okay. Especially if you are a highly sensitive person. Because once you're done talking to that negative person and they start revealing all the secrets and lies about that narcissistic family, your spirit will not feel right. You will feel so uneasy. You'd have to literally pray to take, to detox that negative energy out of your, your whole aura. Because once you're done, you'll find out, oh, this, is, this sister sleeping with this sister's man. This cousin sleeping with this cousin's man. This woman's abusing her own kids. This woman's abusing her own grandkids. Like, the stuff you will hear if you end up getting close with or getting involved in a narcissistic family and their secrets and lies, you will be shocked. You'll be shocked at who is protecting who. Who is lying for who? Who's keeping secrets for who? Who is chilling with who? After finding out what they've done, it is... This is why you hear some of these other content creators who talk about narcissistic families and they are in a narcissistic family. They are not a narcissist, but their family are full of it. They cut the whole family off. They cut it off. They're not in contact with nobody because they understand that there's always somebody. Not everybody's a narcissist. Not everyone's a diagnosed narcissist. Not everybody. But they're toxic. They're enabling each pe It's just a whole mess. And if you want to live that life where your soul is clean, your heart is pure, and you want to live a peaceful life, you have to cut them off. I know it's hard. You have to cut them off. It's easier if it's your partner's family and you're not with your partner anymore. It's not so easy if it's your own family. You have to distance yourself. That's why sometimes in families you hear about a certain cousin or auntie, a certain woman or man moving halfway across the world. Like they're moving to somewhere where it takes like 10 hours to get there. They don't want to be anywhere near the mess. They may still talk to the family now and then. Maybe visit, maybe not even visit. Maybe not even come back. Because they understand it's a whole mess in these narcissistic family cultures. And then if you do something that is, let's just say you make a mistake, you fall for a knock, they blame you for that. Oh, you should have seen what he's like. You should know what he's like. But hold on. I've been raised and groomed around this and this is normal for me. I've seen this in my family. I've seen craziness in my family. Not me, but I'm just speaking. So how am I meant to not find a narcissist? You know, especially that nobody, no woman in my family have told me about toxic men and told me what to look out for and told me about the red flags. You know, I hear some comments sometimes of people saying, oh, you know, well, my grandmother told me this. You have an amazing grandmother and lucky you that your grandmother has all that wisdom and knowledge and she's passing it down to you. Because some people don't. Some people do not have the luxury of having a woman or man who has experience and knowledge and who wants to protect you by giving you life lessons. All right? Why do you think people are online talking about this th th these things because this was meant to be taught to us from our elders meant to be telling us what to look out for this that any other but if our elders are actually the narcissist or the ones protecting them enabling them think about it you're doomed you're doomed and the school don't t teach you about this they teach you about sex education they teach you how to have sex, how to use protection. They don't tell you what to look out for 
with emotional abuse. I do not remember that being spoken about at school. I'm sorry. Things might have changed now in schools. I'm not sure. I don't have a teenage child to, to understand or to even know if they do. But they don't tell you about abuse. It is hidden. And I'm going off. I'm going off on the tangent right now. So if you got to the end of this video, thank you so much for listening. And <laughs> let me know in the comment sections below about narcissistic families. Like, you don't have to, you know, put your business out there and tell me about them secrets. But let me know how, you know, how heartbroken you were when you found out that the majority of your family or your partner's family were narcissistic or toxic, dysfunctional and the secrets and lies. It's a mess. Thank <laughs> you.